work and energy different forms of energy we know that potential and kinetic energy together make up mechanical energy of the object mechanical energy is not the only form of energy there are other forms of energy too heat is a form of energy why do we call heat a form of energy heat is a form of energy because heat can do work if we heat a vessel full of water and cover the vessel with a lid what happens the heat makes the water boil and convert into steam the steam can lift up the lid of the vessel work is done to lift up the lid of the vessel hence heat is doing work so heat is a form of energy because heat can do work heat energy is used to generate electricity water is heated and then the steam is used to turn the turbines electricity made this way is known as thermal electricity water is heated and the steam generated is used to push the piston to make the engine move forward this is called a steam engine what else can heat energy do take a convex lens and hold it in the sun if you do not have a convex lens you can use a magnifying glass it is basically the same thing now hold a paper on the other side and adjust it in such a way that you can see a tiny spot of sunlight on the paper hold this position steady and soon you will see that the paper burns at the spot of sunlight this is because sunlight contains a lot of heat the lens makes all the sunlight falling on the lens come together at one point on the paper and the heat energy is so great that the paper just burns when light falls on a photographic film it changes color you also may have t-shirts that change their color when you go into sunlight it is light that causes photosynthesis to take place photosynthesis is the process in which plants prepare their food this does not happen unless there is light photosynthesis is the reason there is life on earth it happens because of the energy of light there are also solar powered batteries these are batteries which can make electricity if light falls on them some calculators also work this way on light energy is sound a form of energy too put your hand over the speaker from which loud music is being played you can actually feel the sound coming out very sharp sounds can cause glass to break so sound is doing work hence sound is a form of energy when a magnet is brought near a pin the magnet pulls the pin towards it so the magnet is doing work hence magnetic energy is another form of energy magnetic cranes use magnetic energy to separate scrap from the junk a match stick can be rubbed against a match box to catch fire the energy stored in the stuff at the tip of the match stick helps it catch fire this is chemical energy even fire crackers that we burst during diwali have chemical energy stored in them the cooking gas in our gas cylinders has chemical energy in it even the petrol or diesel that we fill in the car has chemical energy this is what helps our cars trucks buses and planes run what is the form of energy that we use the most it is electricity electricity is what is helping you watch this presentation electricity makes our mixers microwaves washing machines vacuum cleaners work we need electricity to run a lift to make a computer work to run a refrigerator most of the appliances in our homes office and outdoors need electric energy to work 
What did we just learn? Energy is anything that can do work. Heat, light and sound are forms of energy. Magnetic energy and chemical energy are also used in different machines and devices to do work. We use electric energy all the time in our daily lives. Energy exists in so many forms around us and we use it all the time. The form of energy that we use the most is electricity. It comes to our homes through wires. But do we directly use electricity? No, we transform it into other forms of energy to make it useful to us. A fan converts electric energy to kinetic energy. When we switch on a fan, the motor inside it gets electricity and it starts moving. An iron converts electricity to heat energy. When we plug in an iron, it heats up and then we can use it to straighten out wrinkles on our clothes. Our television converts electric energy into light and sound. A tube light and bulb converts electrical energy into light energy. There are many other transformations of energy that we see around us. A solar cooker or a solar water heater converts light energy into heat energy. A solar cell converts light energy into electric energy. Solar cells are used on satellites in space. They can get constant power that way. Kinetic energy can be converted to electric energy. You may have a lamp on your bicycle that lights up when you pedal the cycle. The pedaling creates kinetic energy. A part of this gets transformed into electric energy to make the bulb light up. Dynamos work the same way. Kinetic energy is converted into electric energy. Chemical energy is transformed to heat and light energy when we use our cooking gas to make food. The Diwali firecrackers transform chemical energy into heat, light and sound all at the same time. Chemical energy is transformed to kinetic energy when we use petrol to run our cars. Thus, we can keep transforming energy from one form into the other. In fact, you cannot destroy or create energy. All you can do is keep changing its form. What did we just learn? Energy cannot be created or be destroyed. We can keep changing its form. In our daily life, there are many examples of transformation of energy. By transforming energy, we can put it to use in different ways that we need.